Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to find a median for group data using Google Sheets. Step 1, find the total number of observations or n. To find n, add the frequency equal sign. There is a suggested formula here, sum. Therefore, the value of n is 17. Step number two, calculate the cumulative frequency of each class. How do we do that? First, copy the first value of frequency, then go to the next cell, equal sign, click the first frequency, plus click the second frequency, and enter. Then, drag it down. Make sure that the plus sign comes out. There you go. Since the total number of frequencies is 17, the last number must be 17 as well. Step 3, divide n by 2. To do that, equal sign. Click n, which is 17. Divide by 2. Enter. So n over 2 is 8.5. Next, identify the class in which the median falls or we will find for the median class. What is the median class? This is the class where n over 2 lies. So let's go back to this table. So we need to identify the median class by looking at 8.5 under the less than CF column. So this is where you will find the median class. Now, I want you to look at 8.5 under here. Is there a number equal to 8.5? There is none. So, what will be our median class? So, for 2 to 6, it means that these are from 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 8.5 is not even in the middle of 2 and 6. Then, 6 to 11 means 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Therefore, our median class is this one. So let us highlight that. This is your median class. Again, I will repeat. To find the median class, go back to less than CF. Find the number equal to 8.5. But if there's no number equal to 8.5, you have to get a number greater than 8.5, and that is 11. So therefore, 11 belongs to the class limit 20 to 29. That is why this is our median class. Next is find the lower limit the cumulative frequency, and all the values in the formula. So first, let's find L. In the formula, L means lower limit of the median class. If this is our median class, what is the lower limit? The lower limit of the median class is 20. So let us put 20 here. Then, less than CF, it says here, cumulative frequency preceding the class or before. What is the less than CF before 11? And that is 6. So let's change the color. So less than CF is 6. Then frequency is frequency of the median class. If this is our median class, therefore the frequency is 5. Then I is the class interval or class width. So to get the class width, just simply subtract 20 minus 10 is 10, 30 minus 10 is 10, 40 minus 30 is 10, or just count from 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and that is 10. So these are important values that we need to find before finding for the median. Let us now find the median but you have to follow the formula. First, 
equal sign. This is L or lower limit. Click the value of L. Then here it's plus. And we have to put this one together. So you have to put parentheses for the whole thing. And you have to group n over 2 minus less than cf. So please put double parentheses. And now click n over 2. Then minus less than cf is 6. So click that. Close parentheses. And this line is division. Divide by the frequency 5 and close parentheses. Then the operation between this is multiplication. So shift star and i is 10. Click that and enter. So we got 25 as the median. Now the question is how do you know if your answer is correct? I want you to look at 25. Is 25 fall in between 20 to 29? Yes, it is. Therefore, the median for this group data is 25. I hope you've learned something from me today. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to share this video to those people who need it. And subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. So you will be notified for my next math video tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one and keep safe. Bye-bye.